right. we're doing Nick Ricada, guys. Remember, we were covering Ricada <laughs> seething at Kiwi Farms. He was seething at Josh, seething about his thread, about Drexel and all that. But, you know, we have somebody else who's joined the battle against Ricada. It's no longer just Josh Moon oh, yes. and us and everybody else in the sector dabbing on Ricada. Mm -hmm. One of the lawyers who comes on Ricada's show frequently. Oh. Potentially criminal. So, one of... So, okay. If you all don't remember... Well, you all do. But I'll, I'll just refresh your memory. During the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, case, Nick Ricada would usually have a ton of lawyers on, right? Yeah. Like, all these lawyers and... Da, 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 da. And I said on the last show about the f***ing Ricada question, I was just like, listen. These lawyers stop going on to the show, da, da, da. It's even beyond that. Now the lawyers who used to go on Ricada and collaborate with him are dabbing on him. Runic carvings on sticks be runes on baldos. All right, so could the runic carvings on sticks be runes on baldos? Obviously a reference to Ricada. Could the runic carvings on sticks be runes so on baldos? Remember, Ricada had him on his show. They were pals, part of the lawyer YouTube network. Look how he responds here. Baldos. So it's a strong start, says Reptile. <laughs> yeah, it's the lawyer PPP premium gaming skin. This will be my lawyer <laughs> costume. Yes, I'm sure you could find a bunch of Baldos. Car I, I mean, they're rubber. You could carve into them. Or you could find a bunch of <laughs> discarded liquor bottles that have runes carved into them. Whoa. <laughs> Felt it. Is this guy watching our show? Probably not. Meaning... This is a big joke in the lawyer YouTube community. Bro. He's a big fucking joke. That <laughs> you know, he's just a joke. He's the Baldo guy. He's the Baldo fucking alcoholic. Look at this. I had a bunch of Baldos. Car I, I mean, they're rubber. You could carve into them. Or you could find a bunch of <laughs> discarded liquor bottles that have runes carved into them. And like, his laugh is like... The joy. He's so happy to dunk on Ricada. He's so happy he doesn't have to pretend to be friends with him. Yeah. I mean, thankfully those girls weren't found with whiskey bottles up their asses, because then cops would be going to knock on Nick's door. Named. <laughs> Hopefully. He really is like an Adam Sandler movie character. He really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still too young for Drax. Whoa! Oh, oh. So this is a big contention now in the law YouTube law community. The law community. Very the funny. Law -tuber community. Very funny. Alyssa Clips, Kino. So thankfully we know they're not involved. Um, Dink Dragon says, "I hope Alyssa just clipped that." Oh, don't worry, it'll get clipped. I'm sure it will. Don't worry, Alyssa. It'll clips. get clipped. Alyssa. Don't. Let's go, felted, etc. Let's right, go, Ariel. felted, etc. It's like heat. It's like heat when uh, Wayne Gross sitting there. It's like, don't you worry. He ain't gonna forget about you. Oh, what a reference there! All right, now we have one more clip from this guy, potentially criminal. Very funny stuff. Very short. So <laughs> check this out, folks. This is funny. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh no, hold on. Oh god. Presented without comment. It says there's one train you can't derail. It's the bulls at Nick's house. That's so good. <laughs> this guy is a Christmas. He's so happy. I want to get him on the show. Can someone DM him? I'll DM him. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking cry. It's gonna cry. Meaning they've all been chatting behind the scenes and finally now it's okay. It's like making yeah. fun of him now. Now we have the green light to the shit green on light? Yeah. yeah. He watches the show? This guy watches the show. No way! For real? Crazy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no.
We should start hosting law tube panels. We will. Yeah. We actually will. We'll do all. Uh, We're going to be the law tubers the next big trial. What was it called? You, you had a, a name for it if we did like uh, cases. It was something with Kino and I forgot. But there was, I remember Kino you, court. You, you thought of something. The Kino court. Do we start the Kino court? Kino and just, court. And we just steal Rakeda's grift. Oh, that was good. The Kino court. We have Rakeda spurging out at Eric July and acting like a big time f***ing retard here. So. Everybody's like accusing me. They always do this. They're always like, I will try and stay out of drama for months and months and months and months and months. People will beat the f***ing shit out of me to, to do the thing, to enter the fray. And I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. And then eventually. You break. Someone like Eric did. We'll I, go I just, and they'll be like, hey, the blah, 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 blah. And they'll say head. a thing. Isn't it just angry? Always, it's so I fucking annoying. And he's like, he's ooh, like using it as a prop. How, how cringe would it be if I was like this the whole time? Rudolph the red nose Alki. Thing that is intended to damage my channel. Make no. What the f did Eric do to damage your channel that you haven't done yourself? Shut the f up. Eric July, what, what, uh, but, uh, how is Eric July gonna damage your channel? The thing is, Rakeda didn't need to insert himself at into all. the whole Eric July thing. He could have just not said fucking anything, or when asked about it, I mean, that's none of my fucking business. The reason he got involved in it was because of Dick Masterson, because he views Dick Masterson as his own personal Jesus Christ, the father figure, the guiding light of his life. He believes that everything Dick Masterson says is gospel. Yeah. And like the full on truth and that you have to worship it. So when Dick started going after Eric July, Rakeda had no choice but to join in to fucking be with his E-Daddy. So it's your own fault you got involved in this shit. And any of your own fans who think you're a fucking piece of shit for going after Eric July to please Dick Masterson's penis, it's not Eric July's fault, it's your fucking fault. Nick is blaming Eric, right? For what Eric's fans have said. Yeah. But remember, Nick inserted himself by replying to one of Dick's tweets that was encouraging uh, Riley to go to piss to on business. the grave. Or you know, for, first it was the business and then to show up at the grave of his ancestors. Yeah. And then Nick's like, why is Eric coming after me? No, I wonder. Eric's responsible for what his fans do, but Rakeda and Dick aren't responsible for what their fans do. It's rules for thee, but not for me. And it's a real shame when I get consequences. But when you get trolled, it's just a consequence of your actions because you're feeding the trolls. Don't believe this. I legit want Ripiverse to make unlimited money. I don't care if it's good, bad. I don't care anything about it. I don't want the trademark to win. I want him to win the trademark. I want him to make billions of dollars because I want the parallel economy to work. What? And I don't think the quality matters. I disagree with Dick on this. I don't give a shit about the quality of the book. I don't care if it's bad or good. I want the idea to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you want that's so the stupid. parallel of the of the business to work, which would mean not the the you know comic book industry, yeah, but like the you know self published, right? If it sucks, if it sucks, then go f yourself. Yeah, f you, f you. I don't just need something that's like, gonna pander to my politics if it's uh, garbage. Yeah, if it's shit. It makes. It's like, not even gonna spread the politics if it sucks it's just a way for people in an echo chamber to jerk themselves yeah. off i i i hope the fucking shitty comic pass but this whole like parallel uh -huh. economy thing it's not a parallel economy no it's within the normal economy of the country this isn't a parallel society yeah like this is the new buzzword people use parallel society parallel economy are you still paying taxes are you still fucking buying services using u.s dollars yeah Oh, you are. So you're a part of the economy. Creators who don't hate their fans sell, okay? I'll say that all over, and then I'll say, but I again, don't want to talk again, about- Again, if it was, if it was a comic book that was like battling what woke comics are, I'd be like, okay, I see what you're saying, but it's not. I've read it. It's not. <laughs> Anything else? Because I really just don't fucking want to be involved. They'll demand my involvement. Well, no, you're forcing yourself. It. You keep talking about it. This has been going on for weeks. They, they force my involvement. Nobody can force you to do anything. You're the one who's doing it. 
is crazy. But it will take months to get me in because I just don't care. Remember the legal bite shit? How long that fing took? I didn't want to be dragged into that either. Leave me alone. People do, and they're like, he loves drama. Yeah, I unprivated the Eric stream. I didn't announce it because it wasn't about the fucking drama. It was never about the drama. I don't want to talk about the drama. He's a spiral. But once you bring me in, once you do the thing, once you demand my fucking approval or whatever, one, I probably am not going to give it to you. And two, I'm going to talk about the drama. So now you brought me in consistently over and over. I'm pretty sure my name was mentioned today. Well. Today. That's the fucking crazy thing. Today. Before all of this, pretty sure I was brought up. Why? Because I talked about the legal issue of the trademark. No drama. No nothing. Legal issue. Right. <laughs> He, he didn't know what he was doing brought at up all. In live yeah. Stream. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't trying to insert myself into the drama. I was just doing a legal thing. Really? I didn't do nothing. I'm innocent. But now I am going to get into the drama for 38 straight minutes here. Yeah. That's, Again, yeah. Right. leave me the f alone. But if you don't leave me alone, I will do what you ask eventually. What you ask is for me to comment. I'll eventually do it. Of course, I'm a drama whore. So I mean, if you are a drama whore and YouTuber, then why are you pretending like you're above it all? Yeah. What What was up with this attitude where it's like, well, I was just doing my job. I was just doing legal analysis. I didn't want to get into the drama. And I never did drama. I was dragged into this. And then you admit you're a drama whore like two seconds later. Yeah. Like, just lay off the bottle, man. Like, lay off the bottle. But it's not profitable. It's not fun. Drama's not profitable? It's what? the most profitable the fucking, fucking stick? thing. Here's the Where's stick. the fucking stick? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Retard alert! I do. I do have a channel to grow and protect. Like, that is real. Leave me alone. What are you going to do to Eric July? What, like, Eric July made, like, what, five million? Tons of viewers, tons of support. He's doing his thing. What is Ricada holding a whiskey glass gonna do? Well, Ricada's losing viewers and money over this. Because yeah. he has crossover with Eric July. Yeah. He should just shut the f up, but he can't because he has to pander to Diddler Dogs. I know all your fucking purity tests. I know all your fucking gay garbage. I don't want to do it. I don't even sell a goddamn comic book. Leave me alone. Okay, Why is do, he do spiraling this hard? He's just fucking screaming. Do we know what Eric July said? It's tough. It's I tough to even know. see. You yeah. can't even follow this shit. Like, it'd be great if Nick, you know, Nick assumed that 75% of his audience like has no idea. Yeah. It's like when we set up like a, like a drama. We, we, present... we try and give some context for people who might be newer, newer or don't like, understand. Or who haven't been following. Because, I mean, that's why people tune into this stuff is because they're not following it on their own. Yeah, exactly. They're not, like, following fucking 100 different Twitter accounts to, to learn the shit. I know all of it. I know it before you tell me it. And then when you tell me it. Okay. Remember, I never said anything bad about you for months. While I knew about the bad shit. What bad shit? What bad shit? What did he do? What did Eric July do? He made a comic book that wasn't the best. Who gives a f Their opinion. Yeah. In their opinion. You insisted. Did you forget? Did you forget the bad shit existed? Did you forget me being not neutral enough existed months before I talked about it? Months before you opened your mouth about it? Did what? you forget that? Probably forgot that, I guess. What? Not neutral. You can't bully me into your side. You can't bully me into your opinion. You know why? You know why? Because you are a YouTuber. I don't care how big your audience is. I don't care what fucking gay street they all came from. I don't care about how much they talk. Ventilators! Malna. I don't care about whatever stupid airing out internet tough guy bullshit they talk about, about like killing people or whatever, because you're all dumb internet tough guy 
ass. And by the way, that audience is like the most social justice warrior. They must be racist. They just hate the blacks. They don't hate the blacks. Nobody hates the fucking blacks, you weirdo. They just hate this the black man society. Nobody hates them. You guys are literally Marvel. You have made yourself Marvel. Good job, you fucking arts for being goddamn Marvel of Comics Gate. Can you imagine? Pause. Can you Wait, is he going to cry? It looked like he's holding two glasses of whiskey. Watch, yeah. watch that one go down. Marvel, you have made yourself Marvel. Good job, you fucking for being Why is he transitioning it? For one hand, it's like a magic trick. It's like misdirection or something here. For, for a second, I'm like, is he holding two glasses of whiskey? He's dual wielding the fucking glasses. <laughs> This is crazy, man. He's just screaming about Eric July, and I don't even know why he's mad. How long did it take? Did anybody have an over and under on tree for the timeline from Comics Gate's creation to Comics Gate's own Marvel existing? And it's literally the rip averse cards out there like, they just hate the black man's success. They've been saying this shit for years, years and years and years. No one said anything because it was always turned outward. Well, now you fucking turned it in where you're like, they're just racist. They just racist. They just racist. You should hollow them out. Air them out. Shoot those motherfuckers. Assault them. Kill them. Attack the wives. Attack the kids. They're attacking EVS's autistic daughter. Like, what? monsters okay Wait, motherfuckers, true? motherfuckers are like going on? to his ancestor's grave yeah. and going to his business and shit like this Not EVS. i i don't know like how far do you guys want to escalate it like i don't know i guess the logical conclusion is violence because of some fucking black guy's comic book <laughs> and some fucking mexican pedophile's anger that he's not making money that Vito, the pedophile's comic book, isn't making as much money as Black Man's comic book. So now you we need to need. go to graves, make fun of autistic children, gangland shootings and shit. You know what we need? We need a British YouTuber to make a fucking summary <laughs> video about this. We need like a flow chart that explains exactly <laughs> what, like how we got here and like why this is happening. Because nobody understands this. Like, no, like... <laughs> You'd have to fucking be paying attention to this every second of every fucking day. Like, this is the level of, like, autism we were on with Ralph, like, it, like fuck last year. Yeah, yeah. The goddamn animals they're supposed to hate, they have become an embodied. We're all supposed to just sit here. We're all just supposed to take it. Why? Why? Because the black man did Because Eric did it. Because it made so much money. We all tried to ignore it because we just didn't want to fuck deal with it because you guys are the dumbest people on the goddamn planet we're all sad that you watch our show but we don't want to fucking anger you because you're irritating to deal with why are you so mad is it just that nobody is watching because that's what somebody said in chat earlier, yeah, earlier yeah. it smells like no there's nobody watching. watching and nobody cares so he needs to start like spurging and spiraling so people will pay attention to fucking laugh at him. You know what it feels like? It also feels like, uh, it's like with, with, with the Josh Moon thing. He can't take any criticism. He can't yeah. take anyone being against his point of view. He's always the right guy, right? You're fucking irritating because you're like, you hate the black man. Don't hate black people. I think they're hilarious. You hate success. I literally love capitalism. Don't like any of this shit. <laughs> that goes against it. Suffer schnoz. Now you got that one wrong. <laughs> what is it? Suffer schnoz. Young <laughs> champ, you kind of sound like every Brie Larson apologist ever is just. What? Oh yeah, they're Brie oh, Larson God. now. The worst thing ever is to be a Brie Larson apologist. But I, 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 there's apologists for Brie Larson. Apparently, like it's the gospel, and they're like apologizing for it. Like what the. F are you talking about Apo the apologetics of brie larson you and i like gonna get this out era. on the street defending brie larson and captain marvel oh you and i like this era because we were so busy making fun of ralph now brie larson's black with hairy shoulders so you just fucking love it i guess we didn't care we don't even dislike him we don't dislike eric we want you're good with people going to his business and going to his ancestors' graves to piss on it? I, I don't hate him. I'm just saying, if you pissed on his grave, 
expect him to succeed. We hate you. We hate you. The Wait. people who are like, he showed up at Gravestone? You got to handle that. You got Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I take care of that. Get in the streets. I'm from the street. We would ventilate a motherfucker. You, you, put, you put holes in a man with a gun because he took a selfie at a gravestone from someone who died 100 years ago? Well, listen, you man. Like, you start f***ing with people's families and their ancestors and their honor like that. Like, don't be surprised yeah. when sh bad shit happens. Are you kidding me? You're going to shoot someone? Did he shit on it? Did he deface it? Did he chip it? Did he take the gravestone? Did he hurt the body? No. He literally... How do you know? Took a picture like everybody does at a fucking gravestone ever. He took what? A nobody, there's, nobody it, goes to random gravestone of some enemy of yours and matter. take a selfie next to the grave. It's the, disrespectful. The, it, it was, you was it dumbass. intended to be disrespectful. You know he. Oh, he went there to bring roses. Nobody does that. Yeah. Is dead. Nobody does. No that. one does that. Google pictures of the fucking gravestone. Oh, but. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You gonna ventilate them too? Is that desecration? You fucking cards. Have fun, fucking Eric, in trademark court. You dumb motherfuckers. Oh, but I don't want him to lose. I want it to be no, parallel businesses. No, I want him businesses. to have all the money in the world. Good luck in trademark court. <laughs> okay. uh, what would you know anything about trademark court? It's an Elden Ring boss at this point, and you're level one, and you're not actually good at it. You're me. You have no chance. You're. Eric over right now by being so god. How? But he makes like five million I, I don't a year think now. It's like, possible to really f him over. I'm this pretty point. sure he's a fucking like millionaire. And if you want to come at me, okay. What are you gonna do? Threaten to ventilate me on the internet? This motherfucker! You're gonna threaten more bar complaints against me? Oh, please don't! Please don't! Do I have to say racial slurs? Like, what do I have to do? You have I to dare you to fuck. Ricada. Why are you antagonizing these like black guys from Texas who are apparently all about street culture and putting people on a ventilator and asking them if you need to drop racial slurs? Like what if they actually pull up on his house and just shoot him? Like what then? Is Ricada gonna fucking fire back with his Baldo device or is this what Ricada fans want to see? They want to see him seething at these black people for making a comic book? I, I don't know. Uncle Tom Honkies sitting on the plantation, hanging out with Isom Knox or whatever the fuck you're doing. Is this wise to say shit like that? Is that, is that a good idea? What, what is, what is going on? He's been doing this for 10 minutes straight now. <laughs> he's he's lost his mind. Okay. Bar complaints, you dumb motherfuckers. Well, well, send them. It doesn't matter. Send None of this bar shit complaints. Like why are you? It's just like Cog asking people to dox him. Why are you asking people to send complaints to the bar? Uncle Tom Honkies sitting on the plantation, hanging out with Isom Knox or whatever the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Whoa, Nick! Holy shit! Send the bar complaints, you dumb motherfuckers! Send them. It doesn't matter. None of this. Send the bar complaints. You really want to lose your you lose your license? Shit matters. It's the internet. What are you? These people don't understand the streets. No, you don't understand the internet because you're literally. You're 76 IQ mongrels running around drooling onto your own penis and thinking you're lubricated. Oh my God, go find a glory hole full of men to suck you off. Jesus Christ. These people are an embarrassment to comics gate, to indie comics, everything anyone's ever stood for. You know why? You know why? Never understood independent creation. They just understood racial identity politics in the same way that Marvel did. Is it? But they didn't like He's the fact blasted. that Miss Marvel blasted. was Muslim. <coughs> like, my racial politics are better than theirs. Best part is, the best part is, this is my favorite thing, Eric probably hates all that shit. 
because he's a level-headed guy who just wants to make a comic book. Wait, 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 wait. So, Ashton. Yeah. He just called, he said, so he's like shitting on, on the black uh, supporters of Eric Delia. 76 IQ mongrels? No, no, no. But what he's doing, no, you see this last, tell me this is not a fucking, what's it called, uh, a backpedal. Watch this. We'll just right, wait. Hold on. The best part is, the best part is, this is my favorite thing. Eric probably hates all that shit because he's a level-headed guy who oh. just wants to make a comic book. So... Yeah, he starts realizing it's, like, unhinged, it's insane, and he's yeah. trying to backtrack it now. But yeah. it's too late, man. It's too late, buddy. He just spent 10 minutes just losing his fucking mind. I love you, Eric. I love you, man. Sell it. But these words are going to butt fuck Eric's business into the goddamn ground. And he can't say no. You know why? Because ISOM number one made $3.7 million and ISOM number two made $2.3 million. That's 60%. I know it sounds like a lot of money. I know it sounds like a lot of money. It is $6 million is a lot. How much you got left, Eric? A lot? What are you? Wait, I love you, man. Da -da 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 -da. How much you got? How like, much you got this left? Is how, like, this Rikita, is bipolar. how much do you have to yeah. battle with Montegraph without calling him a pedophile without any proof based on a Medicare video? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. So, okay. how much do you have? You have six million. So he has six million. Um. So what's Nick's implication? He's such a slimy mother. But, but what's Nick's implication here, Ashton? That, uh, that, that he lost all his money already? Yeah, because he's black. Okay. I'm number three. He's going to make 2.3 or more. Work on that story yet? He, oh, my God. I thought you liked him five seconds ago. He's going to make 2.3 oh, or what you got left, Eric. What? You think I saw number three is going to make 2.3 or more? Yes. I think it will. By like what judging it, by the, it, the the but does it even have to make that much? What if it makes a million five? Ooh. He's going to the poorhouse. How much are you He's making? He's gonna Nick? die. Like the comic book made more than Nick's made his whole life, life. probably. And he has no kids or wife to fucking support. He probably lives in like a nice house, just whatever, just like a chill place. He doesn't like have to like his expenses are minimal. And he actually has a, like a team. Are you still selling the idea? What? Guys, here's the truth about what is creativity. Wrong with him? In markets, I'll tell you every, every business professor on the planet will tell you the same thing. How much was number two supposed to do? Did anybody ask? Did anybody ask how much money that crowdfund for number two was supposed to do? Was it supposed to do 2.3? Great success. Great success. 20,000 less copies than number one. Fantastic success. And it really is. I think it's still outside of ISOM number one. I think ISOM number two is the biggest crowdfunding comic book in indie comics. So... What's the problem? I mean, maybe a third, like... <sighs> like What was it? Like, like I understand it sold less than the first one, but I don't think it was ever going to sell as much that's as the, the thing, first that's one. That's the same thing for everything, though. Yeah. It's the same thing for everything. Target, what was needed? How much did you need to... How much did you need to earn? Was it was it 2.3 million? What? Did any of your illiterate audience take economics? Do they know? This is... How many no? millions does he need to make for you to personally be happy? Like, what do you think the break even on the comic was a hundred million dollars? It's a comic like, book. Wouldn't like he already be pages. six feet under in like fucking mountains of debt? That's an alcoholic. If you showed that to somebody on the street, they would go, "That's an alcoholic down on his luck." I don't know what like what he's scared like. Or well, clay pitching right. it pisses me off too. Is shitty ring and it does it catches your eye every, every time. time your eye goes over to that fucking ring it's so stupid you have any idea how much uh it costs to pay for your 
somewhere between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollar a month warehouse. How many staff do you have? What ten? Ten, right? Like something like ten. Ten staff, maybe more. Hope Alpha Core does well. You brought on Chuck Dixon. I love Chuck Dixon, by the way. Dude, wait, oh, everyone, everyone, listen. Listen to the, the great sound effect we're about to hear. Chuck. <laughs> Drink it up. Drink it up. Is he going to lick the bottle again? By the way, it was, yes, of course. By the way, it wasn't even like a proper rook. It was like, like he's like struggling to open it. Dixon, there great go. legendary comic book author. And this is not a slight, but um, guys, go look up the. Uh... It's so disgusting. Like, I don't know if anybody, Never. no alcoholic licks the fucking bottle to get like the little drop. Oh, the projects Chuck Dixon's been on. Not a slight, but what has he been on? One of the greatest comic book writers uh, that's still alive. Go look up the recent projects. Uh, they hit million dollars? Did you sell a story or did you sell a movement and an idea? Because I'm pretty sure you sold the second one. Who gives a fuck, Nick? Yeah. And Alpha Core doesn't have the name Isom. It's not the main character, it's a spin off. I love, I love you. Of this Chuck whole, Dixon. I love this I love guy, Chuck Dixon. I love but I Chuck. hate him and I want to see him fail. Like, <laughs> you know, great writer. So Would love to talk to him about. I I did. I interviewed him. He's fantastic, full of wisdom. Is he going to sell a million dollar book? What about Yaira? Who's working on that one? Probably. I would say probably. One. His Brazilian sister is going to draw a million dollar book. I hope so. Probably. Hope it's two million, three million. But if it's less than one, what are you going to do? He's going to be fine. He's going to be rich still. What are you going to do? He's going to be rich. Me too. I'm praying on your downfall. You have 50,000 copies sitting in your warehouse? How'd that pull up campaign do where you devalued a $35 book to five bucks? Why would Did he say he loves Eric You're in this probably video like four lose times? those millions you made. You devalued your comic book. You spent one thirty-five. Now you'll go get ten. Sorry, suffer, black. <laughs> this is wild. It's wild. Did you do that? How many copies were you sitting on? How many did you sell? How many are you sitting on still? Everybody downplays the fact that inventory is one of the most expensive fucking things in physical product business. And I know. All physical products got to be collectible. Don't do digital. Well, the whole point of crowdfunding and pre-orders is to know how many comics you need. You putting them in stores? Or are you putting them on a shelf? Which would be the same thing. I Jackie's, don't know. Like, I don't know. He'll figure it out, I guess. His business model is like, okay, you're A-logging his business model. I mean, for all you know, he has a bunch of guys. Like, he has a team. It's not like Eric July is figuring this out on his own. Yeah. It's not like like if it was Eric July or if it was me or if it was Andy on our own, you'd be like, yeah, I probably don't know how to scale this business or yeah. distribute shit or do inventory because we don't really. But he has a team of guys to yeah. do it. By the way, 15,000 books of 20 pages each. Is that even a lot of money to print? I, I don't. It's not like it's hardcover. It's fucking paperback. Everybody is pussyfooting around the realities of the ISOM business model. Everybody is fucking scared to talk about the numbers. You guys have $20,000 a month, a month, every month, to pay for a warehouse. What about 10 staff? Remember Eric? Remember Eric? He's like, Whole thing about comics is they don't pay their people enough. What are you paying your staff? Let's say 10 staff make, what, 70K a year? How is your book doing, Nick? <laughs> $700,000 a year? What's that per month? 50K a month? Now you're at 70K a month? Six mil's gonna go real fucking fast. Uh, let's be real. He's not paying those 10 guys $70,000. They're like 25, 30K. Yeah. Part-time job. They're not getting paid. It's a part-time job. 
Yeah, it's a part-time job. Uh, that warehouse lease is five years, almost guaranteed. Maybe longer, maybe shorter. Depends how much they want to pay. Well, he, goes, it's five, he goes, it's five years guaranteed. Maybe longer. Might maybe be shorter. shorter. Maybe, Buddy, maybe it's a year. How many people fucking lease something, a warehouse or a property for, for five, five years, years or no ten one. years? Rick is trying to say this guy's locked into a lifetime of servitude <laughs> on this warehouse. Like, <laughs> Five years is going rate on a commercial lease in Plano. Two bucks a square foot. Thanks, Liada. Probably negotiate down. A buck seventy-five square foot at five years. If you want to go to a year, it's gonna be two bucks a square foot. Bet it's longer than a year. Bet it's five bucks. Guess they're not full time employees. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you sure? Well, I'm guessing. Eric's whole thing. Marvel and DC don't pay their people enough. But if they're part time, it doesn't matter. Should he pay them full-time wages for working part-time? Two comic books were released only. It's not like a fucking, like, every fucking Marvel There's also book. a big difference between Marvel and DC and some black guy. In a like, fucking warehouse. If he had the resources that Marvel and DC had, yeah, maybe he would pay his fucking staff more than they would. How to make money in comics. Change lives for the distribution staff. Why is it 35 bucks a book? Let's not even get into that whole charity thing. I got a question. Did anybody out there do the charity submission for ISOM and request a receipt for the IRS? Did a single person buy a charity book and request that charitable deduction receipt? What's it say? How much money went to the charity? How much do you get to deduct? Does anybody have that? I'm just asking. I'm just I'm just asking a question. Anybody buy a charity ISOM book and get one of those receipts for their IRS tax return? I, just send it to me. I'm just curious. Just curious. I have no idea. I don't know the answer. Yeah, McSlammer is like, what is the point of speculating on all this if he has no documents, no facts, nothing? Nothing. It's just no to leaves. seethe and just, it's, though I'll tell you why. It's just to suck Dick Masterson's penis. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's so strange. Like, why? Why would you give kids a comic book? Oh my God, try giving them cancer cures. That's better. Right. How about this? He could do whatever the f he wants with his charity. Yeah, if people want to support it, that's fine. Yeah, like, okay. Is it, oh no, my cause is better. Okay, wh Nick, where's your cancer charity? Eh? I know. Where's his cancer charity? Do it yourself. Don't ask me to comment on your fucking garbage. Don't ever ask me how unless to you want me to actually comment. That was Spoony. He channeled it fully. Because Don't all I wanted to do is say, I'm, like, I'm not going to throw my friend off the bus or under the bus. I want you to make a million dollars. That's it. That's all I was going to do. That's all I want to say my entire life. That's it. I just want to say, I don't, I won't throw my friend uh, under the bus without evidence. Do you guys remember? Do you remember the moment? Do you have, wait. Uh, so, so Dick and Vito, I don't have him. Uh, 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 I can't say explicitly that they did this. Wait, 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 what? You don't, you don't have, no, I don't have that. Remember? What I asked for, the one thing, because I got shit on all over for this. This was why I was disloyal, shyster, right? This was it. All I said was, I'm not going to throw Dick and Vito under the bus without evidence that they did this. Now, there was a video. I don't know. Everybody seems to have collective memories of a fucking goldfish that's all so <sighs> stupid. No one remembers this. We had the receipts of people's going to go. On. We got them. Remember the receipts? Promise the receipts. Where are the fucking receipts? Where were they? Where were the fucking receipts? People are gonna get sued. They're gonna learn. They're gonna learn. They're gonna learn today about lawsuits, about torches, tor tortoise interference, or whatever. You're gonna learn today, right? You're gonna. Everybody's gonna learn. Everybody's gonna learn. Lawsuits everywhere. Ig Dick and Vito just, yeah, he never needs said one of those blood alcohol. He no. needs like the breathalyzer before he starts to think the yeah. last, the OBS. Like uh, every only... twenty minutes. It, OBS will shut down unless he blows under. Because right now he's just a drunken 
fucking idiot blowhard, Andy. Like, uh, that's it's... what it is. He's just blackout drunk, right? It's yeah. Just, it's like literally like you should not be streaming in the, these thoughts. It's like you phoning your ex and going, oh, yeah, I still love you. I swear. You're a whore. Look, look <laughs> I know strategy. I'm not going to say they did this. Wait, do you not have the evidence that they did this? Nah. Nah. OBS I don't know if they did this. You don't know if they did this. Literally, mm -hmm. I, I should have sat there. I should have done this rant then. I should have spent 30 fucking minutes excoriating this motherfucker because the entire drama for me was how your partner going to do this and you're not going to call him out. And I'm like, I didn't see the evidence. He's like, I got the evidence. But then when it came down to the fucking question, who had the evidence? Jack shit nobody has the goddamn evidence you know why, why so do you know why do you know why eric doesn't have the fucking evidence do you know why like there's because dick and Vito like didn't do it they like just lacking out of his mouth dick like, and Vito didn't do they did he's foaming at the mouth they admitted it in a rage laughed they just mocked him and his ego took a dick in the ass and he had to sit there and take it because they yeah, just dick literally admitted it yeah dick admitted it just fucking laughed and it hurt his pride and so he said he was going to do something he said he had it when he had the no, opportunity no, no, to yeah, yeah they, did. they admitted to the email they admitted to the email yeah and it he couldn't Everybody mad at me. Demand, demand. How dare you? How dare you? There's everything you hate in the world. Show me that they did it. Oh, oh, oh. How do you not know they did it? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Kung Look, Fu, like, I this asked him. I said, did you not? Tear. He's this, like, he just went like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, he's like, ooh, okay. Like an ape. Guys, do this? Like, look, if you did this, it'd be like, I don't care if you did this, it's not illegal, but did you do this? No, we didn't do it. It's funny. We would have done it, but we didn't do it. You didn't do this? You really didn't do this, you motherfuckers? I texted Dick, did you do this? Tell me, motherfucker, did you do this? No, it's hilarious. I wish I would have done it. It's so goddamn funny. You didn't do this? No, I didn't do it. So I said, show me the evidence. As far as I can tell, nobody fucking did it. Nobody, did. they didn't. What evidence did you see? do this it some crazy. other guy did it no how could you say some other they're definitely obtuse no they did it they obviously did it obtuse no did it and, and obtuse known as veto or dick or one of the kids vetoes ripping every day oh yeah uh, okay show me the goddamn all, right. all i said show me the evidence show me the evidence i'm not gonna throw my friend under the bus without evidence i've known this man for a long time he'd just say he did it <laughs> no he wouldn't he'd lie to you why because he wouldn't lie. Like, he'd just tell me. Because would never lie. You know how we make fun of the sector? We're like, oh, we're in this sector. Da, da. Honestly, this is moments like these. I'm happy we're in this sector. This is gayer. <laughs> this gayer sector. beyond. I can't even fucking believe it. <laughs> this is like. He's like he defending Vito the pedophile. Yeah. yeah. And like, look at him here. He said, look, I'm sorry. Disavow me. Take the other side. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Won't matter at all. Just disavow me. Just say it. Just say you did it. Well, but I won't do that unless you did it. But I didn't do it. But just say you did because it's easier for you. It's better for business. Like, I don't care if it's better for business. Did you do it? No, I didn't do it. Okay. Show me the evidence they did it. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, well, you see, the thing is, I never said it. You never said it. You never implied it. You didn't do a whole fucking stream about suing these guys. Which, by the way, that would have been the greatest lawsuit on the planet. You would have gotten fucking destroyed. But you didn't do a whole stream about suing them because you had the receipts? You don't have the receipts? I have the receipts. Oh, okay. For everybody wondering why I'm talking about this, please remember that was the core fucking issue. All I said, show me the evidence. You don't have it. I know he didn't have it because they didn't do it. Obtuse Gnome did it. Obtuse Gnome was probably pissed that you banned him from Twitter. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you picked on the wrong person because you're so used to picking up people who roll over spread their butthole shove lube in it and then say give it to me daddy eric oh god i'm sorry obtuse gnome clearly doesn't feel that way neither does isom neither does dick neither does Vito. although i think Vito might like it and neither does me Vito. all right let's just do this up there i knew two months ago about the text to evs i knew two months okay
This guy fucking sucks. He's just repeating so it. So many over. people associated with Eric. I think they're great. Great people. Fantastic. I have so much fun talking to them. If I never get to talk to a single one of them again after, so be it. I started my show talking alone. I'll probably end my show talking alone. You probably will. All right. What does he mean by that? I, I, like he started alone and then he's going to lose everyone in his life because of his spurg. His spurg. So he's just doing the Ralph run? That's wild. All right, let's go to King Dave. I can't fucking take it, actually. Yeah, me too. It's starting All to right. give me a serious Yeah, 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 yeah. I, Actually, I started to get like, okay, we got it. 